everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic is colors, right? We see all colors all around our lives, in our rooms, everywhere we go we see colors. Now I have a question for you, can things like glass or mirrors or windows and plastic, can they have color? Can windows and mirrors and those kind of things, transparent objects, have color, right? Transparent, we can say, is something that is 투명한, right? We can see scenery through a window even when we are inside a room. So we are inside a room, there's a window, we can see through the window and see the scenery. The scenery here is the things outside, right? However, when we close the curtains, we cannot see outside. That's because the glass is transparent and the curtains are opaque. So transparent means we can see through it. It's 투명한, right? Like glass or you know, a window. And the curtains are opaque, which means we cannot see through it. So transparent and opaque they are opposite words, right? Windows, fish bowls, and water are all transparent. An object can be transparent and have color too. Think of red, yellow, and black cellophane. Cellophane is a sort of clear plastic, and we can make you know presents with it, we can wrap presents with it. It has color. Plus, it is transparent. Transparent, again, means it's 투명한, right? We can see through it. Alright, we have three exercises here. First one, we can see scenery, blank, a window. So, scenery is what we can see outside, right? The cars and the trees and the animals. And we have a window. So, you are inside your room, we have a window and there's a scenery outside, right? And this window, is it transparent or not transparent? Is it 투명 or not 투명, right? Window is transparent, so that means we can see past it, we can see through a window, right? Because a window is transparent. B, when we blank the curtains, we cannot see outside. So when we do this to the curtains, we cannot see, right? So we're looking for the word that is the opposite or the pande of open. So when we open our books to study, and then after, when we're finished studying, we have to close the book. So when we close the curtains, it's the opposite of open. See, that's because the glass is transparent, 투명, and the curtains are blank. So, glass, we can see through the glass, right? If we have glasses, we can see through it, right? However, curtains, we cannot see through the curtains. So that means the opposite of transparent, the opposite of 투명하다 is opaque. So, things like my shirt here, it's opaque, right? You cannot see my arm. Things like this desk here is opaque. You cannot see through the desk. Well, if you had a glass desk, then it would be transparent, right? All right, we have three extra exercises here. First one, windows, fish bowls, and water, blank, all transparent. They're all too young. Windows are too young fish bowls, and water, right? We have three subjects here, we can tell by the commas. So three things, and we have to choose a B verb. So which B verb do we use when we have many things to talk about? Boys, cats, and dogs, right? When we have many subjects, we have to use the B verb are, because we have many. Is, is when we are talking about only one subject. So we can say water is transparent. A one fish bowl is transparent. Was is the quaga or the past tense of is. Uh, 
is transparent 투명하다? was transparent was 투명했었다, right? Uh, B. An object can be transparent and blank color too. So we have this helping word, a helping verb, can. So when we use this word can, the next verb or the next action word has to be an original verb. That means we cannot change it. We cannot say can is or can are. We can't do that. Just can be. That's the original form of is and are. So same thing, we have to use the original verb here, something that we don't change, and that is have. Uh, we're going to practice this one more time in number three. So let's take a look here. C. We can blank through it. Again, we have our friend here, can. What happens after can? Do we change the verb after can? No, we don't change the verb after can. We leave the verb in the original form, right? So we say can, and the original form of this is see. So this is, it sounds hard, but here's a simple rule, right? We never change the verb after can. So we never, never say can saw, can see, can has. We just want to keep the original form of the verb after can, all right? So take a look around your house, try to find what is transparent. What are the 투명한 things in your room and what are the opaque ones, the things that we cannot see that are not 투명한, all right? Thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.